Suddenly, I was held still, as if a magnet held my feet to a particular spot in the middle of the road. In front of me, above me, literally wiping out not only the gray street and sky, but the whole world, was something which I can only call a gigantic and living Russian icon. I had never seen a Russian icon at the time, nor, I think, any reproduction of one. I have seen very many since, but none that has approached this one in beauty. It was an icon of Christ the King crucified. Stretched on a cross of fire, in a vestment which blazed and flamed with jewels, crowned with a great crown of gold which weighed his head down. Christ was lifted above the world in our drab street, lifted up and filling the sky, his arms reaching, as it seemed, from one end of the world to the other, the wounds on his hands and feet rubies, but molten rubies that bled with light. Everything, even the glowing folds of the vestments, seemed to be burning and stirring with life and movement as flames of fire do. The spread arms with the long, stretched hands tapering from the jeweled sleeves were like gorgeous wings covering the world. Christ himself, with his head bowed down by the crown, brooding over the world. In the midst of this splendor, the austere simplicity of that beautiful face stood sharp with grief. But the eyes and the mouth smiled with the ineffable love which consumes sorrow and pain as rags are consumed in a burning fire. <laughs>